Thank you. Um, so just quickly for context, um, this is um, quite early on in the book and B's gone out into a storm to investigate some mysterious goings on. Um, so, a sound louder than the storm severed B's thoughts. It started with a repetitive clanking like a hammer knocking metal. It grew louder and slower. B gasped. She stuffed the scroll in the pouch back into her pockets and pressed herself against the outhouse wall. The hammering sound advanced towards her and she reached to draw the door shut, peering out through a gap in the wood. The building trembled, the earth shuddered. A banshee wail split the air. B crouched with her hands covering her ears. What if this was another nightmare? An even more powerful one? It was headed straight for her. Squinting through the gap, B watched a long black shape chug, clatter and steam its way up and over the ridge towards the cottage. The shape was mountainous and tall enough to block out the tor. B clutched the wood, half aware of her torn, splintered skin. It's a nightmare as long as a serpent, some kind of snake-like beast. It's come to consume us. Then B saw it, a small silhouetted figure cowering in the space between the outhouse and the cottage. It clapped its hands over its ears. Get away, B screamed, but her voice was eaten by the noise of the storm and whatever the giant creature was. B's heart drummed and black spots danced before her eyes. The front of the creature was round like a blank face. A funnel towered over its head, spewing sparks and smoke. Mechanical arms as big as tree trunks reached over its head, throwing down shining metal beams that thumped into the ground ahead of it. It hissed to a stop. The arms ceased moving. Steam washed across its body. Its flanks glistened. As B watched, the thing shrieked again, a sound so sharp that pain speared B's insides. She blinked. It's a whistle. More thoughts crisscrossed her mind, tumbling, scattering. This is a steam train. But how? There's no track. And then she saw. Those metal beams were the track. The great machine was throwing down its own rails as it went. A steam train here on the moors, stopping right in front of their cottage.